A note on Declarație de Iubire, Declaration of Love by Gabriel Lice. I'm not sure of the category of this uh, work. Is it an essay? Is it a poem? Is it a short story? Perhaps, in fact, my guess is that there are elements of all. Uh, because it's a time as beautiful as a sonnet of love, but then also there's the story of Monica Lovinescu, Virgilia Runca, and finally, Horia Berna. And it might be also an essay on love, because the beginning is very interesting, striking even. Uh, he says something which I know from positive psychology, family, those close to us, those we love, are the most important. If you look at happy people, the happiest of them have strong connections with family and friends. They have a social support. Okay. And Gabriele Chin talks in a wonderful okay. language, beautiful words, about the importance of those we love. They are our saviors. I mean, he doesn't use this word, but this is what comes to mind now. They, they are crucial for our existence. and. We need them to know that in, uh, we have them. So, the first part, the first story, is that of Monica Lovinescu and her husband and fellow freedom fighter, Virgilia Runca. They live in Paris. This is where, uh, I think it's more than a decade ago, Li Chan went. Every time he went to Paris, he went to the street. By the way, this is the second note. There is another one where I mentioned these visits. And he talks with admiration. He's in awe. And indeed, these were heroes. Important, uh, vital for the people here. Including myself, even if I was very young. I know my father used to listen to Radio Free Europe. And we have an instance when a doctor, a friend of Gabriel Licciano, has a speaker in every room, including the toilet, the bathroom, in order to have all, to hear everything she says, Virgilia Ronca, and not miss anything, no matter what he has to do. And um, they were so important that Ceausescu is supposed to have said, I need this woman uh, beaten, I want her to become a vegetable, uh, and I want her jaw broken. Indeed, an attack took place. Uh, two people from the terrorist forces of the PLO, Palestinians, who had con good connections, good uh, relationship with, with Ceausescu and his regime, attacked her, and she was she has she had a trauma, she had a broken nose, and other injuries. Vichano uh, doubts that this is really the dialogue that took place, because indeed Ceausescu was. Uh, uh, almost an illiterate and he, he would mumble and make gestures and uh, wouldn't be able to articulate so, 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 so many words in a phrase and give this order. Surely the, the idea and what happened proves that he did the word an attack not in his words. And um, Monica Lovinescu turned this to her advantage because she used to, this to demonstrate how wrong her enemies, her detractors were, because they claim, ah, she, it's easy for her, she's there safe, and uh, of course you can criticize and oppose the regime where it's peaceful. Well, turns out it wasn't really safe, it wasn't peaceful. She suffered more than most of these, uh, than any of these uh, guys. And... Um, Indeed, as I said, the first part is a statement of, of extreme awe and admiration. The final part is dedicated to Horia Berna and their relationship, the one between Li Chanu and, um, and uh, Berna didn't take off immediately because uh, Horia Berna was, seemed to be skeptical. He had this scrutinizing look and uh, raised eyebrows, I think I remember. Maybe I'm wrong. But then they became very good friends. Berna showed uh, Li Chan so many be beauties, and he um, 
showed him houses in his own neighborhood that he didn't see, he hadn't seen before. In fact, he thought the place was uh, uh, ordinary and he, he saw kids live, uh, playing in the streets, but not what Bernard showed him. Same thing goes for uh, trips to Moldavia, I forgot, uh, Tescan, I think it was, and um, there he showed him apples fallen on the on the ground and the beauty of rays and so much more. And uh, at his funeral, um, uh, Li Chanu, Gabriel Li Chanu, the philosopher, describes with detail, and we can see the sadness, the burial, the the the, the logs used before the coffin is buried inside and, and 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 so much more and I was thinking that Li Chanu is or comes across as a cold uh, drastic unforgiven uh, like the Clint Eastwood movie man and for good reason he's very uh, uh, forceful when he talks about the government its corruption lack of values uh, um, moral and any virtues and, and he's right but this figure of the knight in Shangri armor and very fierce which he needs to be when you fight corruption when you fight ill there's no other way you can't be kind well maybe only if you're a Buddhist uh, it, this shows this is an, one side but then we have the other side emotional sensitive uh, admiring kind soft and mourning so much of the his uh, friends <laughs>